Statins are cholesterol-lowering medications that are very much overprescribed, in my opinion. And it doesn't mean that there's nobody that benefits from them. There are plenty of people that take a statin for the right reason and it can protect the heart, especially when you have a cardiac history, absolutely. But of course, you know, the pharma industry to broaden uh, their income base wants to distribute these as widely as possible. So every time you go in and you might have a slightly elevated total cholesterol, it's very easy uh, to see that people get put on a statin. And a lot of times this is for the wrong reason. Now, if you are a healthy person, in my opinion, and you have a good HDL cholesterol, it's relatively high HDL cholesterol, that is the high density lipoprotein, you have low triglycerides, and that's mostly a fraction of carbohydrate intake. Then to me, and also if you're metabolically healthy, meaning that you, know, you don't have early diabetes, your hemoglobin A1C is in check, then you're not really a great candidate, in my opinion, for a statin, because it might not be necessary for you. If on the other hand, you've had a cardiac history, or if you had a heart attack, and or you have early diabetes, you have uncontrolled high blood sugars all the time, you may actually benefit from a statin. This is not only to do with the lowering of your LDL cholesterol, okay? But there are other benefits of the statin that are specific to the heart. And that's important to understand. So I had this come up in my practice recently. There are several people that discussed their statin with me. I didn't prescribe it for them, but we talked about it. Now, if you've had a history of a heart attack or you've had uh, coronary artery blockages that then were dealt with via a stent or coronary artery bypass graft, you benefit from a statin because one, it decreases inflammation specifically in that tissue, but there are also other processes in that tissue where it prevents a, a dysfunction of some of the cells in your heart. So there are some positive effects that a statin can have if you have a cardiac history or if you have high risk factors for a cardiac event. So in this population, yes, a statin may be very useful. Now, a lot of times still, it might be overprescribed in terms of dose, because when you look at the research, dose is really secondary here. And sometimes the clinicians, we go too aggressively, because what does your doctor monitor? They monitor how high your LDL cholesterol is. And, uh, you know, based on that, oh, I want this to be at a certain number. I think this is incorrect. And the studies have shown that even lower doses are cardioprotective in that case. So it's always good to have that conversation. But for a general population that has good markers and they just have a slightly elevated total cholesterol, I think this is way overprescribed because there are certain risks with this medication as well. There are long-term risks with it. And we do need cholesterol. We need it for hormone production. We need it in our cell membranes. Think of the cell membranes in your brain, in your neurons. There may be issues long-term being on a statin for the wrong reason, but we might have a detrimental effect there. So overprescribed for sure. I understand that the pharma industry wants to make money. Years ago, they even thought of um, to bring out a chewable statin with some cherry flavor or whatever it was for children. So they want to you know, broaden their client base to include children. And they're like, well, how can we market that? When I was in medical school, so I graduated in 2003, I went to UCLA, I remember we had a uh, cardiology professor who said in one lecture, and I, and I still remember this to this day, statins are so great, we should just put them into the drinking water. And even back then, being a medical student, not really fully understanding yet the implications of this, I thought that cannot be correct. You know? And um, fortunately, we didn't do that. So if you on a statin, I think it's good just to have the conversation with your physician. Hey, what's the reason that I'm on it? You know, what are my markers? You know, how does my, uh, how do my other markers in my, in, in my cholesterol look? How's my HDL? How are my triglycerides? So you have to do a lipid panel for that, of course. And, and how are my markers for early diabetes? How's my hemoglobin A1C? How are my blood sugars on average, right? Based on that, then you can determine if you're a good candidate or not. But that conversation is important to have, I think, because it's very easy to just, you know, take out your prescription pad and write your prescription if you have a slightly elevated cholesterol. Again, in my opinion, way overdone. I understand the pharma industry, they want to make money, but, but that, that is not always in the interest of the patient.